We both have our new hoodies on. I know. We wanted to wear them to show you guys. This is my first sample of my top surgery hoodie. I literally made it. This is like actually a photo of my chest when I still had my invisible stitches in. So it looks gnarly. Gnarly. It was like when they were out and I was like, oh, this is the, for the rest of my life. You're t you're, and also I'm wearing full boobs on yeah, mine. Yeah, like, Yours are off and mine are on. Yeah, no, I can't believe I have boobs either. So I cut them off and it was. So it was like I had a version of this. It was like inspired by the Vivian Westwood um, like boob shirt that, for the Sex Pistols. And then I realized that I was like, I when I had top surgery, I just like you have to like sit up when you get surgery for six months, like sleeping. Like you have to be like up and then you can't lift your arms. Mm. So it's like a zip hoodie is the only option. So I was like, why do I not have a top surgery hoodie? So well, this is my top surgery hoodie. So if you're having top surgery, or if you're a fierce bitch, you buy this hoodie. And I don't know if I have like OCD. I don't know what it is. Like ADHD, OCD, whatever I have. But I have this like hoodie like. I have like a texture thing with like foods and things where it's just like I need everything. And I have like a specific weight of hoodie for every type of mood I'm in. I have like hundreds of hoodies. And this one's just like the best surge one. Like it's just like. Oh. It's like lightweight but not. And it has like a little knot at the end. So you won't have to like. Because you won't bite your aglets off. That little piece of plastic at the end of the shoelace that nobody knows what it's called. You mean an aglet? Yeah. No. I like that better. Oh. What are yours? Aglets. Hmm. Wow. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. When is yours available for purchase? I'm going to put it up like we're going to start shipping out on Trans Day of Visibility. Which is? March 31st. So yours are ready to ship March 31st. Mm -hmm. Mine are ready to ship. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, they'll be sold out. I don't know. My hoodies are ready to ship now and get it while it's hot, baby. I know. I love it. It's very I love us. Mm -hmm. so I put the tits on. You took the tits off. It's very telling. That's the way it goes. No gore. Hi everyone, it's me, Violet Chachki. And I'm Got Mick. And you are watching another episode of No Gorge. Today's episode is actually supposed to be about we have this like notes app going, like a No Gorge notes app. And we always are just like, we have a thought. We're like, oh, we have to talk about that on the pod. And we write it down. Yeah. I'll have thoughts at like any given moment, different states of sobriety and different states oh, it's of just crazy. Like, like I literally mentality. It's like I'm watching her type live at three in the morning. It's like, can priests masturbate? And I'm like, what? Like, that's a valid. Okay, that's one of them. We took a screenshot of it, I think, and put it on our Patreon and, and asked them which ones we should talk I about. Don't, I like part of me wants to say they're not allowed to. To what? Vote? Masturbate. Oh. What? Our Patreon community. Oh, voted. no. Please. Part of me says they're not allowed to vote. No, please. That's such, it's such a great question, I think. Can priests jerk off? No, I don't think you're allowed to touch yourself. I don't I think, think you're, you're allowed to pleasure. I don't think you're allowed to touch yourself at all because, like, the whole point of sex for, like, is to, like, procreate. In Catholicism. Mm -hmm. Do you think that priests, obviously priests are not following those rules because they're fucking little kids and shit. <gasps> Shots fired. Oh. I said it. Let's be honest. I said it. Oh my gosh. I mean, yeah. So if they're fucking little kids and stuff, then they're definitely masturbating. But I think the rules are no, no. But I feel like maybe, maybe they're a not priest, all Any crazy. priests out there watching, can you chime in? I feel like they're not all crazy. Did you go to Catholic school? Yes. Yeah. So did I. Yeah. And the priest was the captain of the water polo team, which I thought was odd. Horny. Because they're all wearing Speedos. Ugh. That's crazy. I never it was even weird. had a water polo team. My priest right. was like, Why do they have a water polo team, like, first of all? Well, I brought my uh, nun at my church, or my school. Her name was Sister Yo. Sister Yo? Sister Yolanda. And we called her Sister Yo. 
And Sister That's Yell, very Sister Act. When I was the president, COVID. and I said, we're going to go see Magic Mike together. And we, I went, brought the sister, and we went. Is that said, legal? Don't know, but we did. When I see nuns or clergy folk doing things in real life, I'm like, are you allowed to be driving? Well, she like, wasn't like wearing like the thing. The habit? Like, no. She was just like, I think that's not allowed too. No, Put I... your outfit up. Put your uniform. <laughs> why are you not in uniform? And why aren't you in uniform? <laughs> no, I don't think they have to be in uniform like if you're like out and about. Like it's very like sound of music. Like, you know, she gets to go watch the children and she gets to Oh my god, her, it's like... like in Sex and the City when the nun is trying to get a um like screening, a breast screening, breast cancer screening, and she shows up in her habit the next day and Samantha's like Ugh. She's like using her oh, uniform yeah, to like get a, a cancer screening from the cancer person. And then yes. the secretary lady finds out that she's dating Smith Jared and then Samantha gets a breast cancer screening for her and, she's, the and the nun for yeah, the Smith Jared. That. Yeah, I do remember that. Apparently in that scene, Samantha asks the nun if she can masturbate and the nun never asks. Just one more. Oh, go right ahead. Are you allowed to masturbate? I never asked. I guess clergy people are just like not horny. never asked? Asked God or asked like the nun the nunnery. So she probably just does. Right. Like, you don't know. She doesn't know if that's the rule or not. So she's just going I mean, to town. I like my life motto. I'm just like, do until told no. And you know what's what's going to be like, just stop doing that. Like, like the horniest Catholicism seen in a movie ever. Let me see if you can guess it. Actually, if you can think of a horny Catholic scene. What's even a Catholic scene in a movie? Like Sound of Music? No. Uh like the exorcism? What's like another what's oh, a Catholic well, scene? We just saw the Pope's Exorcist. There wasn't any horny scenes in it, but uh there are Catholicism movies. I don't think I know a horny Catholicism. Okay, well there's I mean, one Jesus I'm looks thinking pretty of. hot on the cross. What's the one with Nicolas Cage? National where, Treasure. Is it National Treasure? Yeah. Where the guy's like whipping himself? He's like albino whipping himself? Anyone? I don't remember that. I think it's the Da Vinci Code. It's the Da Vinci Code. Whatever. Na da Vinci Code of National Treasure might as well be the same movie. Are they both this Nicolas Cage? I actually haven't. Wait, what was that one movie that we watched? On Whatever. The, the albino guy whipping himself in, in front of a cross. I'm like, why? Am this is very Alejandro looking. Not no. Alejandro's a horny Catholicism moment for some reason. There's a rosary. Yeah, no. I mean, Judas. Judas. Horny, horny Catholicism. At Hotmail.com. And I think we concluded that like. No. But also, yes. I think they it's do, still, but the jury's you're not still allowed. Out. The jury is still out. I just can't imagine Jesus being like, sorry now. Well, it, I don't, like, it's almost like, why would he put the G-spot in your ass? Okay, that's like a different or P -spot. thing, but like, literally, yes. <laughs> no, it's literally like, P -spot. what? Prostate. If more dudes got pegged, it would just be like, there's a lot of boring people out there, too. Boo, let your boyfriend get a thumb up his ass. <laughs> oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. All right, one of the topics. Who wrote this one down? We have actually talked about this together. So I think oh, we both right, did. right, right. Oh, this is like just true, I think. But uh, you're now we, we put the hypothesis of the test and yeah. your guy dicked you down, it sounds like. Yeah, I got dicked down by like this guy that He's I'm, so hot. He's like the hottest guy ever. And he's, he's so hot. He's like so hot, so funny. He's, like has a shit together. There has to be like the craziest. There's a catch. There There's gotta be to. a catch. You can't or have maybe it he's all. just your husband. <laughs> I mean, we literally have fucked like once. He's my husband. Um, That's how it works in my world. Yeah. <laughs> no, he literally is like just so hot. But we usually talk about how a lot of guys just are so hot that I feel like they don't think they need to like learn how to turn oh my it God. or something. I think getting a, sol a six who can make you laugh and come is like. Six the... is even high. Well, I'm not going lower than a six, honey. Yes, you do. <gasps> who? Oh, my God. Are Tell you me. kidding? The doctor. He was hot. What are you talking about? It's like five. Okay, but like it depends on the scale. Yeah, whose scale is it like are we going your by? Scale? Like he was your, a doctor like the guys and that, hot. Is it like a scale of the guys we fucked in total, or is it like a Greek Adonis and who's an the ugliest? <laughs>
<laughs> like, on Amoeba. I don't know. Like, I was like, not, literally, like, like a little worm. Gilbert and Godfrey hot- and who's like the hottest person you can ever think of? Who's that? Like, who's that guy that Nikita Dragon paid to be his girl a boyfriend? <laughs> oh my fucking God. Yeah. What's his name? The pay for play boyfriend <laughs> guy or Gilbert Godfrey. Like, that's the scale. Yeah. My doctor is a six. Huh? Okay, he's a five. He's going to be a doctor, but you have to... What are we saying? Oh, you got my just God. No, we're talking about physical. physical. I'm talking about all of it. Whole package. No. He could... We're he talking about me, how hot guys can't fuck. He made me laugh. Fuck. It's not about... Okay, physical. You're right. Okay, okay. But I didn't fuck him, so I don't know. Right. But physically, he's a five. Sure. Well, yeah. five and a half. Yeah. I'll give it that to you. Okay. I'm thinking physically a six who can make you laugh and come is like... No, but I literally think, like, this is, like, maybe, I don't even know if this is, like, transphobic. Like, I it, internalized transphobia oh, or whatever. I can't wait to hear this. But it's, like, I literally, I'm, like, oh, I need to literally be able to turn these faggots out so hard. In what way? In the sexual way. Like, that I'm, like, you, it's, like, honey. Because it's, like, you know, it's, like, a lot for some guys. Faggot. Which part? Hugging up with, like, their first, like, trans guy moment. It sounds like a lot of people pursue it. Oh, yeah, of course. And I will turn them out. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to disappoint. So it's like. It's like a game. Oh, I have. I've been. I'm like but researching. But how do you turn it out? Is is it in the room with us right now? Are you turning it out right now? Not now. I'm saving it up. I'm doing Kegels. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like making sure. Like, I don't know if that is. I don't know what you guys call that. If it's toxic masculinity. What tra- do you, how is this transphobic? I like towards it. myself that I'm like not good enough. Like I don't fucking know, but I'm like in my oh brain, my I'm like God. I'm like Everyone I does need it. to be able to like show these faggots that I'm gonna like destroy. Like I don't know, it's in my brain. So oh I'm like, oh my God, ready for battle. <laughs> yeah, that's why when that guy the other day was like, we're doing slow strokes, babe. <gasps> that's been happening to me like a lot lately, guys. Yeah, been, because like, you're fucking going in there, guns a blazing, lion roaring, like, and they're like, whoa, like we can just have sex. You don't and have to be, like, showing, like, I know. it's not a fucking game. And the past two guys I've done that are, like, the only guys I've ever done that. And I'm like, that's the best sex of my life. Yeah, because you're just, like, you're growing. Yeah, I'm like, you don't have to just... go in fucking with your sword up. Like, well, you can just be, like, you can just have sex. Well, I'm learning. Are, are we? Is this a sexual wellness podcast? It like, literally what, is. Like, what like, is just... our podcast even? Like, it's really, like. Bags, shoes, and dick. Like, it's we, talk, most we talk cliche. about like, sex, and then sometimes we're like, time to review a Mugler runway. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the wildest thing. I do not know. What I'm saying is, hot people <laughs> have never had to try hard at anything, including sex. And yeah. so they don't know how to have sex right. Like, I want someone to put fucking. Break me off. Show me what you're working with. Yeah, that's what like, I was saying. Put your back like, I feel into like it, I bitch. need to put my back into it because of my like little trans artistry is what I was saying. Right, right. And the guys that I fucked that are so hot, because I, I do, I am a little picky. Pillow princess? So, no, I am not. I'm, uh, I but am. I'm a little picky about the guys I fuck, so I, like, I usually fuck harder guys, and it's like not that good usually. I'm a pillow princess down. I'm like, you're fucking me no even if i want to be a pillow I'm princess the one. if they're like not into like bottoming at that time even if i'm not into topping them i'm pissed i'm like How oh, dare rude. you and they're like okay you're gonna fuck me i'm like mm, no i'm just pissed <laughs> <laughs> anyway all right next next potential topic i mean in my brain i don't even think it's main character syndrome it's like you manifest your own reality and so it kind of is like you are sort of like the main character and the writer and producer and director. Like I think I don't think it's like I think it's real. I mean I feel like I'm gonna sound stupid because I definitely think I have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You definitely do. I definitely do. But like you do. Is that I just don't really get how that's not like, normal that people don't think that they're like the center of their like reality. Is that not what that means? Or it means like everyone else is like below you? Or does that mean I think like it's more of like a pick? Is it a pick me girl type of thing? I don't know. I don't know. I just I'm main character syndrome in the way. Just like I'm like I'm the main character of my life. Like what I'm supposed to think like someone else is, and I'm a background character. Well, my I think own it's brain. just having a lack of empathy. Like 
I'm are not, the, not acknowledging other possible perspectives, I think is like the negative side of it. It's very like, that's true for you. I just, I mean, I just have it where it's like, oh no, it's like, this is my life. This is what I'm doing. And it's like fierce. And I manifested this and like loves it. And I love that you're part of it. And so fun, but it's my life. Right, right, right. But like, I'm not like, I mean, it is weird when I hear you do stuff without me. I'm just like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, it is funny. Coming back, I'm like, okay, you didn't. Do you, nothing, everything didn't pause for me? Yeah, like, you kept what? existing and I was That's gone. That's odd. I, yeah, that it's so weird. weird. <laughs> I think it's more like if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, did it actually happen? Did it make a noise? If I was the tree. But you, it's like if no one's there to experience it, it's not happening. But if I was the tree and I fell, it's my life. I'm the main tree in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think. I think you fucked the analogy up. So the last topic we were talking about that's on this notes app that people wanted us to talk about is grinder game ads. Which, if you're not on Grindr, I feel like it's kind of like across the board on social media. I don't know. Is there a straight equivalent to Grindr? No. I think the closest thing would be like Tinder, but... I mean, Sniffies and Grindr are truly... I feel like Shiva would be gagged. I just... Yeah, well, Tinder and all those apps are so hard. I think I've even said this on the podcast before, but it's like, I'll, like, go on there, and I'm swiping, 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 and then by the time they match with me and then message me, I'm like, I thought you were hot, like, three days ago. It's like, Like, baby, I'm three days older. Like The gays are almost too fast. I feel like it's, like, too many options. Yeah, like, Grindr's, like, right now. Siffy's is, like, here's my location. Siffy's is, like, meet me. It's, like, Grindr's almost, like... Here's my GPS cord. Grindr's almost become, like, a Tinder. Like, it's, like, talking. And, like, it's, like, too much almost. Well, the guy that I... Siffy's is, like, here I am. Here's me ass up in the bush down the street. Like, it's wild. Siffy's is literally... You there's not even face pics allowed. Yeah. It's literally you lead with the whole pick. It's crazy. Yeah, it's wild. But okay, so there's these game ad- the ads that pop up, and some of them are playable. And it'll be like I want to play those games like, so bad. It'll be like the water's coming down, and you have to like move the pipes and avoid the animals and to like. No, get this it. is universal. This it's isn't like, just the grinder thing. It's like crazy, and I'm like. And some of them on Grindr, I'll, I'll like be able to play, and I'll be like, oh, this is fun. And well, they I'll like, like does, whoever designs those, like, does it on purpose because it's like they like, it's like obvious where you're supposed to move the brick or like whatever. And then they're like, don't do it. And you're like, I could do that. Now, sometimes I can't. I'm like, wow, gag. Oh my God. Actually, I was on Grindr the other day, and this, I was like mentioning this guy who was like really close to me, and he was so hot. And I, he looked like legit too. Sometimes you can like tell when someone's a catfish. He like I was like oh this guy's like hot and like looks like real, and he was like hey like we throw these orgies like blah da 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 like, and I was like oh sounds fun like by the Grove, no it was in Atlanta at the oh. time, and even and even then I was like oh this is like probably so legit like they're like oh it's like really like discreet and safe and like everyone has to like send in the test results and like we all like vet each other and it's like actually a group and we like host them and like schedule and it's like a fucking like sex club basically i do like that i've never been to one of those but i really do like that where they like send in the pics and they like vet you mm-hmm. and then you get like a wristband if you're allowed to be filmed oh mm-hmm. my friend went to one of those in the valley he said it was like the best thing ever don't do that and so i was like in atlanta and i was like oh like this is like a thing people like do this and i was like i'm not getting any younger <laughs> <laughs> so let me try and he's like okay well send me your email i'll like send you the stuff and then I, he, like, sent me this link, and it was giving, like, scam. Like, I was like, is this real? Is this a scam? Like, I got having to sign up for something. But I, I created a whole fake email, too, because I was also wasn't going to send him, like, my Violet Trotsky email. Jeez, how horny were you, bitch? Well, I'm just, like, making a new email. Well, I'm not going to give them my fucking, like, booking email. <laughs> Like I'm a cross your dresser. Agency, I'm a fucking cross dresser. I'm like, talk to Janet. Yeah, your agent's like, so you got accepted for the sex party. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So I was like, well, let me like, and I created like a fake boy name and everything. Steven Waldorf. That sounds rich. Steven Spielberg and Blair Waldorf. Oh my god. A drag king name. That's hot. It does sound rich. So rich. Steven Waldorf is coming to the orgy. Oh my god. He 
does it have he to? runs the orgy. He runs the yeah. orgy. Yeah, like oh my god. Um, but anyways, I like didn't fill it out because I was like, this is giving scammy vibes. I also be like, and I'm he was like so hot. I was like, why? But like, no. As crazy as I am, as you guys have heard on the podcast, I, I would be like a little scared too. Like I would need a friend. Right. Like just like showing up like at the door, being like. Well, also, there used Hello. to be a, a gay sauna in LA and it closed down. There still is. No. There's one in the valley. What is it called? I don't remember the name, but fucking, I know a guy that goes. Let's go. I'm down. Yeah. Or Tokyo Valentino. Uh, you love that place. I do love that place. There's this place and it's like has glory hole. Like, it's like the first floor is like cubicle glory holes that like have little TV like, screens, TV screens, and, screens and, like, and then benches. little glory hole and one time me and Lala we went and went together and we were like <laughs> I love I want to go with you to Tokyo Valentino <laughs> and then like upstairs is like an actual club with like a it literally looks like the floor of Club Penguin what is Club Penguin? <laughs> actually if you know what Club Penguin is that is literally what it looked like what is Club Penguin? you don't know what that is at all new no. It was like a, uh, it was like a, <laughs> what? It was like a computer, like what? It was like a website where you like were a penguin, and oh my god, <laughs> fucking oh my god, it was like nerd what? alert, and you got to like build your igloos and you had little like puffles. And you You're named making them. this up, you know, I swear uh, to God. And you got to go clubbing, penguin go, club, yeah, club penguin, honey, <laughs> yeah, and it. Looks this is like, how you spend your free time. When I was like twelve, <laughs> and I would rush home from school, I was like, "Oh, I gotta meet up with fucking like Porcupine ninety nine on Club Penguin," <laughs> <laughs> and then people would just start like sexting each other, mm-hmm. and then they would block you. And one time, I got blocked for saying a cuss word, and I like cried. Wow, I know this must have really affected you. You never had any of those like gaming. There was like, one that was like Neopets? World of Coke. It was like a Coca Cola one, and you had like a little avatar, and you could like chat, and you would like walk around little like pixelated rooms it was like you, almost like a chat room you'd be like i'm from is, atlanta was that, like asl had, like, age sex location was, like, i had neopets club penguin webkins hello we world did anyone hear we world oh, oh bitch we world was the sex one that is where it all started for me it was like you got to make like a little avatar and you hop around and it was like club penguin but like real people and people would be like horny as fuck and be like sex stories like wild and i was like so young i was like you're kidding and it was like the craziest thing ever and i would spend my parents money on fake clothes for my penguins <laughs> wow privilege you never heard of any of these no. websites i'm thinking about chatterbait that did you is ever so <laughs> different that is extremely different well i did like whatever like asl chat room all that stuff yeah 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 we're like the four years between us are a bit's a big difference. Okay, babe. I have to show you. We should get what's that chat roulette? Is it chat roulette? Is that what yeah. it is? We should do a no gorge episode where we do chat roulette and we re- screen record it with the people and look at you. With, it was like scene era. Like oh I, my god! Like I can't believe you didn't have this. Well, before MySpace, I did Zanga. Like look at it. Oh it was god. like the era. I was like shutter, shutter shades. shades and like it was wild. But Having anyway. lived through the scene kid era, but no TikTok is like. Is so like family we do friendly that? that you can't oh, like. Right. Like we would go on Chatterbait and what was the other one? Chat roulette. Chat ru- not Chatterbait. Chat roulette. Chatterbait. I used to go on. Chatterbait. And it'd just be like dicks. No, no. Chatterbait's like a porn website now. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. It's literally just like dudes jerking off and then clicking next. Oh. And I, if I got next, I'd be like, oh. Wait, is that what I'm thinking of? That's chat roulette. Chat is the roulette, same thing. Like and there's something. I guess it. Oh my god. Omegle, Omegle, whatever. You that was the same thing, and you would just like, and me and my friends would be like, click, 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 and then someone would be jacking off, and we'd be like, ah, and then we'd move on. Okay, wait, we should do that and screen record it and post it as a no gorge app. Do would you guys want to see that? We'll be like this, and no, we should do like the knee, like a knee or something, and it zooms oh out, God. and we're like, oh my god, yeah, big dudes. I love that. There was like this. Guy do that- women get on stuff like that for free? If I was a woman, I would never give it away for free like that. I don't think they do. Good for them. I think it's like fun. I think guys just try to like jack off to like even photographed barefoot. I'd be like, mm mm mm. No one gets a freebie. I mean, I don't really know. I just remember going on and I mean, just screaming at all the dicks. 
I never was like, hey, what are you doing? I think I'd totally be like a cam girl. Are you kidding me? Duh. Thank God I transitioned young. <laughs> wow. We wrote down some interesting topics there, didn't we? Yeah, we have to keep keep the drunk ones going because they get crazy. No, well, I think I also probably should start, if I do keep writing them down, like in the moment when I'm writing something down, I'm like, this makes perfect sense. Oh, that and happens maybe to me every time. No, remember that one time I like woke up and I had a notes app and I opened it and it just said eye patch. <laughs> and I was like, what did You're I like, want? I'll know what that means. I was like, what like, did I want from an eye patch? Like, is that maybe you were like a look. I have no idea. Pete Burns. No. Did Pete idea. Burns wear an eye patch? Yeah. Or? Yeah, that is just. I was like, okay, I patch for sure. <laughs> I patch for sure. <laughs> um, no, I definitely. If we keep doing this, like writing in the notes app ideas, we probably should elaborate a more little on bit what we mean, sure. so that we can do these videos and not and not be idiotic. Yeah, but um, love that so much. Thank you guys for voting on Patreon. Yeah, head over to our Patreon. We're going to keep voting. We're going to keep hanging out. We're going to keep watching shit together. It's a very fun little place. I actually love it. So. Too. We know. need to watch some Magnolias and Mommy Dearest because it's you've never seen Mommy Dearest. No, I've seen it, but Violet literally is like the type of person that can just like quote things like it's in her job. No, there's like, just like she iconic will do the quotes. full monologue of every movie in the world. No, 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 only select movies. Mommy Dearest, Devil Wears Prada, Sam Magnolias, Matilda, well, Romeo and Michelle. Which is having a sequel. I did see that. I want to promo their stuff. Well, I saw, do you see fucking my promo that I need to be in and I need to be on that carpet and be like the face of it is fucking Beetlejuice. Mm. If I need to go to the Beetlejuice carpet, I will die. May I look? Oh my God. Beetlejuice is my everything. I know. I tried to go to the Barbie premiere and they wouldn't let me. Really? Yes. Wait, what? You tried to go? They said not you. Uh, literally well, and i have a mattel logo on me meanwhile on the in the other countries it's like i feel like in america it's just like in la especially it's just like harder it's like no there's way fiercer people than you babe that that are like ahead of the toilet like they're higher up in the totem pole in other countries it's like oh my god superstar drag queen of life needs to be here sissy muffin top no in america the second they see drag queen they're like should we make it that type of event like it's oh, 100%. like 100 like, they're like Ew. is it inclusive in that way i don't think like, so i don't think so so it's like we've reached our quota for inclusivity already mm, no, yeah, and no. they have more followers too so yeah it's wild like they're like i know for a fact no, and like, then even our like team i feel like is like well oh, i don't want to be the person that brings the drag queen a hundred percent. To the fucking, even our friends i think are like that oh, they're like no even sometimes i'm like reading things i'm like oh god like they can't find out I'm trans because they're already freaking out about the drag queen thing. It's like enough. It's like too much. I'm gonna send them over the edge. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of No Gorge. And we'll see you next time. Mwah. Love you, Gorge. No Gorge.